I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So here we are as agents of a library that is seeking back some books that are very late. So we are about to head in with our two enforcers, uh, Jizargo and Orthorn, both of the College of Winterhold, as we are. And uh, we're going to go in, demand the return of the books, and make them pay a late fee. Let's head in. You were late in returning the book. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That you come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. Fine, take them and be gone. Oh. Never return you here, or else you'll Thank face you so much. Full Who knows what they'd have done to me if you hadn't come along? I promise I'll help you get out of here. So she's actually going to let us leave with the books. One, two, and three. The Archmage believed it important. It must be powerful. Okay. And, oh, it looks like uh, Orthorn left. You have what you came for. Now leave. Okay. Heroism, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so there is a different way to manage that quest. In that if you don't have a high enough speak skill, or if um, or if you'd like to, you can uh, fight her. And she summons some nasties and you need to be able to survive them, but here we actually lucked out, and she wasn't interested in a fight, so we can just make off with the books. Which is what we're going to do. And Orthorn seems uh, escaped uh, safely. While we're here, though, we might as well... Um, here you found some. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. We're going to take all this stuff that we can from Jusargo and actually uh, improve everything that we can. Lead on, friend. Working on it, dude. So, what can we do? Well, you know, actually, I don't think we have any ore to work with. So we're just going to see what we can enchant for Jusargo. Now, Jusargo was wearing the... I think it was orcish armor? Yes. Now, we're not going to use Grand Souls yet, because uh, normally we're going to save those for our uh, stuff uh, for ourselves. But we are going to um, this looks pretty good for uh, Jisargo. It'll it makes destruction spells cheaper, so we'll run out of mana uh, less quickly, and it gives him better uh, mana uh, magic of regeneration. So we will apply this enchantment, and when you enchant an item, you can also name it. So, we have a nice enchanted orcish armor for him. The other stuff he's using, uh, he's using uh, dwarven gear. So we'll give him, let's see, we could fortify his health or give him resist magic. Um, so you'd get an increased magic resistance by 10 or 26 more health. Let's go like this. This thing from Sator. What does he? Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. Well, that is fine, but you will like this stuff. <clears throat> so 
So he has a shield and armor now. And let's see what else we can do for him. So we, I think he has, we want to give him Dwemer boots. Oh, we still don't have any enchantments appropriate for boots. Well, you know, we have some stuff we can uh, disenchant while we're uh, looking at this. Aha, the Soul Trap enchantment. That is always useful. So we can't do anything for boots. And he's not wearing the Dwemer armor anymore. But we can improve his gauntlets. Um, now we're down to common souls, but let's keep on. So we could improve his archery or lockpicking or magicka. Magicka is probably the most important for him. So. And I really don't like giving him a helmet because it covers up his face, but that's fine. So we can improve his Magicka or his Magicka region. Let's go with, or actually his Destruction, that would be a good choice. And I typically like to um, name stuff once I reach a certain point to indicate what I'm going to be doing with it. The main reason for that is that I like having these things bunch up together in the inventory. So for example, let's give him this and this. Um, and do have to give him uh, Dwemer boots. Okay, so he is all set. Now unfortunately, my gear is a lot less um, potent than his because I haven't come across a lot of really good um, light armor. This skilled armor gives, uh, has 37 armor rating. Let's see, what am I wearing now? Oh, I'm wearing elven armor, okay. Elven armor gives 34, skilled uh, armor gives 37. So we're gonna switch to the skilled armor. It weighs six pounds, the elven armor weighed four pounds. But we're also going to enchant the scaled armor to also give us improved magicka regen. <clears throat> scaled armor, we are going to use a grand soul gem for ourselves. And uh, fortify magicka regen. 39%, that's a lot better. So you can tell, uh, you can see that our enchanting has improved a lot. I'll call it My One Scaled Armor, and I will start that as a convention for uh, things that uh, I'm using for myself. So what else am I wearing? I am wearing, gonna keep this amulet on for now, boots. I can't really improve the boots a lot. Um, yeah, inventory management is not that great in this game. I have an Imperial Light Helmet, um, which gives me an armor rating of 14. Do I have any other... No, I don't have any other light armor that's better than that. A silver ring, MR3, let's see, and gold ring, also MR3. <coughs> Well, I have another uh, uh, another left ring here. I think I'll enchant that one up. Ring. I'm going to use a grand soul gem. And um, okay, MR fifteen. This is good. So I'm going to. As I said, the type of ring doesn't really matter a lot. So this will be my one ring left of MR15. MR being an abbreviation for magic resistance. And I will put that on. Unfortunately, I don't have a right ring on me, but 
that is okay. And actually, I can give Jazargo any spare rings that uh, that I have that don't seem to be that useful. Um, yeah, there's not a lot more I can do for myself at this point. So, any any other enchantments I want to do are just going to be useful for um, leveling uh, enchanting, which is certainly a valid purpose. Soul Gem and Soul Trap. So Soul Trap is actually the effects that if you kill something with uh, with that weapon, then it will trap your soul inside of a, a Soul Gem. It is worth noting, and this is why I'm not using these weapons a lot more, that they only have a certain amount of uh, power in them before you need to uh, glue more Soul Gems in. And I don't like managing that, so I I tend until I find another way to capture souls. I tend not to use uh, not to use weapons with soul trap abilities. Actually, I tend not to use enchanted weapons very much at all. And later on in the game, I tend to use bound weapons. Of skilled bracers. Actually, that might be better than what I'm wearing now. Right now, skilled bracers give an armor rating of, of 11. Um, I'm using leather bracers, and it gives an armor rating of 10. Okay, so it's a little bit better. So... Skilled bracers... Do I have any? Yeah, and this is filled with a grand soul. Now let's see what I can do with it. None of these enchantments are that amazing. Fortify lockpicking is what I had before. Let's actually, this looks kind of useful. 32% more damage on bows. That's that's pretty uh, handy. My one loves a bow 32. Yeah, and as you can see, I, I really like naming things in a way that makes it easy to find out what they are, and so that they all group together. Now let's see what, what else we can do for just for experience. So there's a steel dagger. And I'll and again, I tend to... Uh, I try to use the... Um, the petty soul gems just for experience. And the stronger soul gems for stuff that I'm actually going to uh, personally benefit from. Because once you reach that all-important level 100, suddenly you can put two enchantments on the same item. And that is amazing. Now, some of you might be tempted to actually name everything and just give things a name like For Sale or something like that. If you want to do that, that's, uh, that's your choice. It, but it sounds like... Uh, that just sounds like a hassle to me, so I, I don't uh, I don't do that. Because it already takes enough uh, enough time to uh, just manage this. And uh, it's also worth noting that the more expensive something is, the more experience you get from enchanting it. So you should generally focus on enchanting your uh, really good stuff. Or, well, really expensive stuff. And we are out of soul gems. So we're done here. And I have some better gear. And Jizargo's gear is a little bit better too. Uh, here you found some. And we're going to see... So Jizargo is wearing shield, armor, helmet, gauntlets, and boots. He's not wearing any necklace or uh, or rings yet. So if we have any spares of those, 
that's certainly helpful. A bit more uh, magic resistance for him is good. You will see that he put it on. Uh, I don't have a, a right ring to give him, but that is fine. And we'll just uh, dump some of the rest of this stuff on him to carry. Um, and we'll also keep an eye on him and the character sc screen because we don't want him actually wearing this stuff. Occasionally, uh, companions will end up making really stupid uh, choices with, uh, with what to wear. Okay, we're down to 285 out of 375 pounds. We're not going to mess with alchemy right now. We just need to make our way uh, back out of here. Oh. oh, we actually did get a key. Sweet. So we're actually uh, we're done here, and we're going to head up to the College of Winterhold uh, to visit the library and drop off the books that we got, which will advance the College of Winterhold questline. To fulfill in Questline, it does take a long time to make uh, your way through. Uh, and it's not what we're going to be doing next, but it's nice to have uh, uh, to have gotten the uh, quest assigned to you so that when we're ready, we'll, uh, we'll be able to just head down without returning to the college. This is one of the least convenient looking coins I've ever seen. So, we're going to run ahead. and visit the library, which I think is over here. I mentioned the college is probably a little bit weirded out to see Jazargo and me returning with radically different gear. Some quest directed me to do I that. See you treating any of hundreds of years. Well, well, thank you. Night of, did you read it yourself? And here, I suppose you've earned these. Okay, so he gives you a bunch of books, and most of them are skill books. So if you really are cautious, you could save these until. Uh, until later. As for me, I prefer just to um, read them all immediately and then sell them back. With games like these, yes, you can play them with spreadsheets and be really careful. I tend to try to find the right balance. Well, I mean, I guess everybody does. My notion of the right balance is not you do everything geeky that you can to absolutely tweak every last bit of advantage out, because that ends up being such a uh, hassle that you don't end up playing the game a lot. You need a book, assorted books, scrolls. I'm sure you'll find something useful. So I'm trying to get the the most value out of um, out of my time and fun that I can. So let's return this stuff. And I just happened to, in, as I mentioned earlier, buying and selling stuff trains your uh, speech attribute. And you know, I could, well. I could level up right now. But one of the uh, the things in the uh, in the game that you should be uh, aware of is because you can only level up, uh, or you can only train five times a level. If you delay leveling because you haven't gotten around yet to um, c 
because you haven't gotten around yet to training that way, then uh, it can make sense to wait until you do train and then come back. Let's see. Oh, this... Where is Tolfdeer? Oh, Tolfdeer is actually up in the Hall of the Elements. Whoops. Okay. So we're going to run ahead over here and find Tolfdeer. And he is over here. It's always a pity now. Does he have information about all what? Is that? I'll have to make a point of I just can't. If you'd allow me to indulge myself. So he's looking at the disco ball. I might make a few observations. The college will. Ah, yes, there it is. And we return to his Alembic. And let's see if he has any books that we want. Nothing that amazing. So he wants to lecture us on the uh, on the disco ball. It is a pretty cool looking uh, thing. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the city border here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'll be the one. Up. All you need to know is that the... They have clashed with the old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. So the Citric Order, I mentioned that they're a rival um, mages organization in the game. <coughs> and... Uh, they also happen to be high elves, um, and now, you are going to speak to this they're not particularly on good terms with the Thalmor, who are also high elves, because they've decided not to be obedient to the high elves. But because we met them earlier at Sarthal, they seem to be interested in uh, chatting with me. So they sent one of their representatives to the university. And so we're meeting them in the Archmage's uh, quarters. Now I, I'd like to do this with a little bit more light. I mean you no harm. He's frozen time again. It is good to meet you in person. I've given us a chance. The situation here at your college, I believe it, the energy, the longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation. You set this chain. You must understand. My presence here will be... I'm all too aware. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. As you may have... The world is... Not... Indeed, many in the order believe... We believe... I fear I have... His perception may be more coherent than our... I... I am sorry I cannot... Prov now, it is within you to succeed. Never forget that. So apparently they want... Uh, they want the disco ball back. Were you about to say something? <coughs> what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You ask to see a specific member of the college. Here she is. Now what is it that you want? There's been I'm a misunderstanding. Sure. What just happened? Clearly, I but I assure you, I will get to the bottom. Simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. So these are the Archmage's uh, chambers. They're pretty awesome. We will see about this. 
but usually they're locked. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is... tainted. Please, don't... has to... please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. So he's charged us with finding the auger. And he has noted... You must excuse me. I shouldn't be here. And uh, apparently Tolfdir uh, knows something about it. So... <clears throat> so there, that's, uh, there's that quest line uh, taken care of for now. Now we could go uh, and hunt the uh, auger. We're not going to do that right now. Um, and where are we? So we have a level up uh, to, uh, to do soon, and we have a whole lot of stuff on us. So we're heading home. Well, yes, we're heading home. Which is Riften. And what we're going to do here is sell, uh, sell off a lot of the stuff that we're carrying and level up the uh, the smith skill uh, before we end uh, before we end up uh, taking the extra character level that we've earned. So there's a trainer in smithing. It's not too far from our house. Heard they're reforming the dawn god. Vampire hunters or something in the old <coughs> Oh, is there something to do in here? Oh, no, I think we already spoke with him. What time is it? It's already getting to be evening. So we're going to wait for 14 hours. In real life, it would make a lot more sense to just go to bed. And certainly people might be weirded out by just having somebody stand out here for this whole uh, time. But such is life. And there, there's our buddy. But first, while we're here... Oh yeah, we, we didn't pick up any... Um, what brings you to looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? We did not pick up any metals, or at least many metals, here, so... What can we sell? Huh. And we could improve our boots. So let's see, what would we need to do to improve our boots? We'd need a refined moonstone. Let's see if uh, he uh, has one. Yourself or deal some damage. Yes, he does. So I will buy one. But fire will do. And this will give me three more armor points. Not that amazing, but it is some free experience. Um, actually, I should check with Jazargo. And take back anything that we don't need. Quite a lot of stuff. Lead on. Looking good. Looking for some armor? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Uh, I'm looking for you to buy some stuff from me, dude. So, neither. Okay. 
So we just uh, exchanged a lot of gold. And so actually, I think we just about broke even on, on our entire series of exchanges. And I can sell this dw uh, dw uh, Dwarven Bolt. Or uh, these Dwarven Bolts. They don't actually weigh anything, so I could save them until I have more... Uh, uh, a better um, speech skill. I think I'll, I'll sell them now. Remember. And we can level up, and what this will do... We're gonna spend this on smithing. We already have steel smithing. Can't take this yet, but it'll be nice to have when I uh, can get it. But I can get elven smithing. Which uh, lets me make elven armor when I have the materials, and it uh, it lets me improve elven armor a lot more, which is really useful. Level 50 will let me do scaled and plate armor, which I'm looking forward to. Then glass armor is pretty nice, but the ultimate is dragon armor. Now I am uh, kind of ignoring a dwarven... Oh, did I pick up dwarven smithing? Weird, I did not mean to do that. Well, apparently I picked this up. Well, I, g I guess it's useful for improving uh, Chisargo's uh, stuff. Nothing but genuine. So I'm down to 231 uh, pounds of stuff. And I have a bunch of scrolls that I don't need. So I'm going to head uh, head up to talk to the court wizard to sell my uh, scrolls. Can't remember her name, Jeremiah or uh... oh, doesn't matter. There she is. What do you need? Willandria. Or Willandria. Take a look. Is there anything else? Nothing there. I can sell her uh, some of these black mage robes. They don't weigh a lot, but they're worth a reasonable amount, which is good. Um one of these. Okay. That looks good. So that's a goofy bug in Skyrim. If somebody is still talking at you and you end up stepping outside, they end up uh, following you. Oh yeah. To do what I do. While we're here, we can take five more levels in smithing, which is the level leveling for this uh, level, the skill leveling for this level. This takes us down to 2859 gold though, but that is good enough for now. Gets our smithing up to level 41. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will... So, what our next quest is going to be is we are going to head uh, head down into Avon Chisel or Avon Avon Schnizel, I don't know, and uh, and return. Um, Return the thing that the weird Argonian gave to us from the docks. Now I'm anticipating, because we're uh, going to be hiking there, that we're just going to make it to the entrance. Uh, we might encounter enough interesting things along the way that we're going to have to return. Uh, but we want to get the fast travel marker. And I will be happy if I can uh, manage that before uh, 
this episode is done. But we will see, because life is unpredictable at times. So the reason that we're uh, we're doing this now. Hey, dude. Hofgrier is a great teacher. I've learned so much about horses from him. Actually, let's pop in and see if. Uh, And see if this guy is up for a retry at that wrestling match now. Back, eh? Ready to... Huh? What are you talking about? Look, you must have me confused with some... I don't want a bad reputation and... Re if you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and... Vince, I've been right. And one day, I was drunk huh. than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Have... So apparently... He's still uninterested in in trying that uh, trying that fight. So, and yep, we're we are at two twenty five pounds. Let's see if we can sell a little bit more of our junk uh, to one of these guys. I'm a Kajit too. So many refuse to talk to us. Most. When they look upon us, take a look. Read a book. A reading rainbow. Anyhow, can sell this dynamo core. Don't have any use for it. Oh, sweet. I really should have dropped this off in my uh, house, but... And I should drop space core off in the house next time I'm in there. Can sell some of the ale. And wine. And she is out of gold now. The Saad was able to look past that. And it was he who held the okay. trade carriers. Now I look for you. Cool. So yeah, we are heading west to make it to that dungeon. We're not gonna be able to see the dungeon for a while. And it's mostly west, a little bit south. We are gonna save just to be uh, careful. And it is probably that marker uh, straight ahead. At least that's my guess. Yo, move! What? It'll be fun to have more of the components of that shout mastered. Oh, and here are some dragonflies and stuff. Now there are some nasty fish in some of these waters. So you want to be a little bit careful. It's also possible to get in a, uh, a fight because I think bandits have control of that castle there. But I would rather not do that at this point because it'll just slow us down. On the other hand, I would kind of like to have this marked on our map for a later visit. So I might dash by and then retreat. Okay, let's head back into the water. And I hope Jazargo is being sensible. No, 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 Chisargo, don't get involved. I'm just going to run off and hope for, uh, hope for the best. What? I hope that he doesn't stay behind and fight. That is a brave rabbit swimming that deep into the water. Is Chisargo... Coming. I hope he's gonna show up. I really hope he's gonna show up. Sometimes your companions are not that bright. And up ahead is an orc stronghold. So we're going to pay it a quick visit. They won't let us in, but they will assign us a quest. Oh! So let's take a sword. Oh no, that is a giant. 
So we're gonna fight him from afar. is dead, but now we're facing a spider, and it is not of the itsy bitsy sort. Oh, but it is dead now. That's good. Oh, and Jisargo made it away from that guy. So he killed some orcs, and we get to take all their stuff. A lot of orcs. Wow. And where's he? Ah, oh, there he is. Giants typically have some pretty decent drops on them. But now we're actually almost full. And we're going to see what the other orcs will say as I step in here. Hope he didn't kill all the orcs. Forgive Ugor's harsh words. She's merely doing as she's been told. Ugor? Wasn't she... Please, our chief Yamar. She is weak. Yamar refuses help. Yamar has demanded... I must protect... But I cannot travel to Mount Kathshra. I beg of you. Can you bring me troll fat and a Daedra heart? I have no wish to... In a Daedra, of course. You do not know he is quick to act. He demands loyalty and strength from his orcs. Okay. So that's another gathering stuff quest. And we have a quest marker that is not too far from where we want to be. So we just have to go a little bit west and we'll be done. And it's already on our mini map. an egg. So I think we should be able to make it here before we need to end this episode. Hopefully. Oh, is that a bear? That looks like it's a bear. And bears are definitely my arch enemy. Let's save and see if we can take this bear out. Well, my new gloves are helping. Oh, sweet. Me and Jisargo have managed to kill a bear. It is a major accomplishment, because as I mentioned, bears are very nasty. Can take... Okay, that actually pushed us over the edge. Jisargo, guess what? You're on carrying duty. Jisargo regrets there was no chance to speak with the Sijic monk. Jisargo only has so much room to carry things. Fortunately, Jisargo has a lot of room, and Jisargo will end up carrying a lot of stuff. Hope you don't mind. <clears throat> okay. And Jisargo can carry... Sword, War Axe... Two staves, three sp staves. Great sword, sword, and axe. Cool. Good job, Jisargo. Oh, you're changing your sword. No, you didn't. Okay. Good. So, where we are going is up ahead. Did I see something? No, I didn't. Th thought I saw something. So this is a Dwemer ruin. And we will be going into the, the depths of this. Still sitting here after thousands of years. But for now... For now we're going to fast travel back to... Um, 
Actariftin and sell stuff. So off we go. <clears throat> so some of the cities in the game are not particularly useful places. I, ver I rarely visit Dawnstar or uh, Morthal, is that what's there? Uh, and uh, Falkreath is generally kind of an afterthought if I even bother to visit at all. Do we have, or did I actually give absolute? I gave absolutely everything to uh, to Gisargo. So we take a shield, shield, gauntlets. Sell all this stuff off. to sell these uh, staves to Rapunzel or I can never remember her name um, oh wait uh, Willandria might have been Will uh, Willandria and while we're in town we are going to actually drop off Space Core and anything else that we don't need all right. yeah it's going okay thanks for asking So, we're going to buy some more soul gems to give her some cash to work with. Oh, didn't need to sell quite that much. Oh well. Another goofy thing in the game. And ahead we go. ready to drop off the stuff that we don't need, like the dragon scales, all of our ores. I think the amethyst was, was important for a quest, so we're going to keep it with us. We will also drop off our alchemy ingredients. Uh, we just need one more fire salt, I think, to be uh,
to be done with that quest. That gets us down to 145 pounds. Okay, so we are done here. So we're going to fast travel back. And uh, and we'll save the game there, and then we'll be, we will be done with this Let's Play. Fancy looking sword. Okay, back west to Avon Shinzel. So at level twenty five, we're feeling definitely a lot more confident uh, in battle. Not super confident yet, because we haven't really made a nice set of enchanted uh, gear, and our uh, weapon skills are not that amazing yet, but we're making good progress. And here we are back at the Dwemer Ruin. So let's walk up to the entrance, which is here, and we will save. And I will see you in the next Let's Play.